Hi guys, just a quick one today. Um, thought you might like to see these. I was out walking the dog, I only had the terrier with me because uh, the greyhound was with uh, my wife for the day. And I looked up the field and saw these hares. Now they're normally pretty active, but these two seem to be the laziest pair of hares I've ever come across. So anyway, I went back to the truck, got my camera and my tripod, set it up thinking that they might just dash around and disappear. But they didn't. They just sat there. Um, they don't do a lot, but they're quite interesting. If you've never seen hares before, once they do actually get up, you can really see the difference between them and a rabbit. Um, I'm sorry about the quality as well, but I'm zoomed almost to my maximum with this camera and it's gone a bit distorted because it's a um, digital zoom rather than optical so it's it's not particularly good but I think you can get the idea they're fascinating creatures I've seen them in this particular field a few times before um, and even when the dogs happen to see them and chase after them they don't stand a hope in hell of catching them because they've done half shift they've obviously pretty laid back today laying down eating and you can see why it's a bit distorted because I am actually quite a long way away so that's why now I've moved up the fence a little bit try and get a bit of a different angle on them and they're still just sitting around oh there we go some action That's about as much as you're going to get. Oh no, here we go. See how long those front legs are compared with the rabbit. They really are something else. Those back ones are pretty big as well. They really do move in a peculiar manner. But when they get motoring, crikey do they fly. I don't think we're going to see much action today. Look at the length of those legs. Peculiar looking animals. I think that's about as much as we're going to get out of these. Anyway, I'll keep quiet and let you have a little look. don't actually know if it's early or late in the season. I think it's probably about right in the season to see hares for here in the UK. I don't know about elsewhere in the world. But they're usually sort of around a March, April time. So I suppose we're about right. We did see them early on in the year. And lots of them. We hadn't seen any for a while, so we thought that was it. But... As I say, I just spotted these two. I guess that's the perils of these wildlife photographers. They sit for hours and hours and hours and either don't see an animal or they're expecting it to do something and it just sits there. I don't think I'll have the patience. I certainly haven't got the time today. I've got to get back to work. I hope they do something. Still, even if they don't, it's nice to see them. Not something you see very often. Looks like he's going to sleep. I don't know. I don't know if you know, a lot of you will, but some of you might not know. Hares live overground, whereas rabbits live underground in warrens. Hares don't burrow at all. They live on the top of the ground in just little depressions. They sort of find a little dip in the ground 
and lay in it. Um, sometimes they are so difficult to see because they curl themselves up and flatten themselves out into a just a hollow in the ground. Very well camouflaged at times. They only need the grass to be a little bit longer than this and they disappear. That's why hares don't generally have fleas. Um, I dare say there's some that do but not like a rabbit. You pick up a rabbit and you know, they'd be crawling with them. These things I think are quite clean living above ground. You can't actually get a a sense of size but these are big they really are and on this particular land there's one that's like a monster it's as big as my terrier it really is a monster talking of which again you can see how far away I am there's the terrier and they're obviously not bothered by her she looks like she's looking for a warm snack I don't mind a snack, I don't want to roll in it, as long as it's nothing nasty. She painted herself in fox dirt the other day, which absolutely reeks. So she had to have a nice cold hose down before she got back in the truck. You see, these hares don't seem bothered by her. I think they've got pretty good eyesight, and if they haven't got good eyesight, they've got pretty good hearing. Oh, hello, no, that one's getting up. Has it seen her coming? No, it's just having another scratch. As you can see, this is a, a pony paddock. But, uh, I don't think there's anything in it at the moment. If they are, they're keeping out of the way. Pretty boring today. I like the black tips to their ears. Don't know if that's usual. And the black tail, tip to their tail rather than white, like the rabbits. See what that terror is up to. Not a lot. Mm, definitely eyeing up a snack, I think. And the size of her looks like she's had a fair few pies already. Oh, one's on the move. Look at that, the way that moves, it's peculiar. And that's just sort of ambling. If that was to take off, well, give my greyhound a run for its money. Greyhound certainly wouldn't catch it, I don't think. Well, mine wouldn't, because she's a bit old. The other one's just staying there. Well, there you go. I'm going to get back to work. I hope some of you have enjoyed that. I love to see these things in the countryside. Catch you on the next one.